I am very excited to introduce Stacey Johnson, who leads our professional development work with the districts and teachers around the country. Welcome, Stacey. Hey, everyone. Hi, district leaders. Um, as Sal said, my name is Stacey Johnson, and I lead our PL team at Khan Academy. We are now working with over 450 districts nationwide, and this year alone, we've delivered over a thousand PL sessions, which has given us a really unique vantage point in how to serve teachers and administrators nationwide with the myriad of needs and unique situations that apply to each district. What skills should educators, um, what do they need today that maybe has even changed over the last five years? It's really coming to a head right now that we have got to figure out a way to foster critical thinking and creativity in kids. And for me, that really comes to light when we think about concentrating on the process of what a learner is learning rather than the product or the result. And with AI really infiltrating so many parts of what we do, including the classroom, we ha kids can search up answers to anything, right? So as teachers, as educators, we have to focus on creating and building learning experiences that aren't just focused on what's the answer, what's the right answer, but on engaging kids with deep, relevant learning experiences. The other part is resilience. Um, you know, teachers have so much on their plate, particularly since COVID, an onslaught of education, ed tech tools and curriculum tools. We need to be resilient. Teachers need to be resilient and willing to learn those tools themselves to continue learning and growing in ourselves in the same way that we expect kids to. What's making it hard in certain cases for, for people to uh, adopt or use, appropriately use AI? Too many tools along with not enough time because our teachers are asked to do too much all the time. I think it's really critical for education leaders to think about how we can make time for teachers. How can we create a space where they get to play with AI and get comfortable with it and learn how it can support their routines before they're expected to take it and use it proficiently with kids. What do you find is the type of professional development that really sticks and is really effective, especially on AI, but maybe AI and beyond? I cannot say enough about the importance of administrator buy-in and support for a new initiative, particularly around AI, right? So everything from setting clear expectations to being present at professional learning sessions, we have to support teachers across time really systematically so that administrator buy-in and involvement in the process is something that just cannot be skipped and can't be replaced. The other thing is that when we work closely with teachers to not just work with AI in, in isolation, but to really build a strong connective tissue to connect AI in context to what we're doing in the classroom. So if we're reading a great novel like The Great Gatsby, maybe we take time to talk with to talk with one of those characters, right, and engage in that dialogue so that it's relevant and it's in context. It's not just working with AI for AI's sake. I, I think we're going to see big changes and I think we're going to see them pretty soon, particularly maybe an increase in student agency, kids being able to you know, seek out what they want to learn, chase, chase that target and, and really work in their own time and pace with that differentiation built in. We've talked a lot already about teachers, they have so much on their plate. So if we can take some of those administrative tasks off, give teachers more time to create meaningful differentiated learning experiences. Artificial intelligence really gives us the tools and the capability to differentiate and tailor instruction in a way that we never have before, which is gonna be particularly powerful in that secondary setting where we haven't really done a great job in the past.